Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Tommy Starr here. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to another huge unboxing and weekly pickups video for release day, September 26th. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So happy you could join me here today for another Movie Tuesday. And like I just said, it is huge. I have all these packages here, Amazon, Disney Movie Club, BestBuy.com. And if that wasn't enough, I also have this package from Shout Factory. Definitely one of the biggest weekly pickups videos in a long, long time. I cannot wait to dive into all this stuff. Before we do, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy these weekly new release videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with the notification bell. That way you get an alert every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoy this video here today, give it a like. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open these up in no particular order. Just going to grab them one at a time here. We're going to start with this big package from Amazon. Feels like there's a lot in here. All right, first one we have from Paramount. This looks badass. We have a 4K steelbook for Halloween H2O. And it's got one of those clear slips on it like Lionsgate. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, we'll go ahead and remove the slip cover, which is kind of bent up a little bit. Go ahead and take the J card off. There's a better look at the front. Nice shot on the back there. And here's it all opened up. Nothing special on the disc here. And here is our inside art. So H2O is definitely one of my favorite Halloween films. It's really cool that we got a still book. Definitely excited to add this to the collection. All right, next in this package here, we have another still book, and that is for the movie School of Rock. This is cool looking. Never had a still book for this movie before. I absolutely love this movie. Definitely one of my favorite Jack Black films. We'll go ahead and open up this one. There's a better look at the front. There's the back. And here's it all opened up. Again, nothing on the disc. And this is just Blu-ray, by the way. Hopefully this comes to 4K at some point. But here's the inside. Awesome. All right, next up we have the third and final season for the DC series Pennyworth. This, of course, is the origin story of Alfred. Definitely looks cool. Of course, I haven't seen it. Eventually, I will. All right, next up is a new Kino release. We have Death Wish 4, The Crackdown. So I have the first one from Kino on 4K, the second one from Vinegar Syndrome on 4K, I just recently got the third one from Ronin Flicks on Blu-ray. Now, Kino has put out four and five. We should see five here in a little bit in one of these packages. I've never seen any of the Death Wish films. I hear a lot of good things about them. So hopefully I can sit down and have a huge Death Wish marathon and include the remake, of course, with Bruce Willis. But had to pick it up since I had the other ones. Moving on here. Still got a lot more in this package. Next up. We have a new Blue Underground 4K, The Girl from Rio. I haven't gotten a new one of these in a while. The last few releases that they have put out on 4K have been like adult movies. And I wanted to continue the collection to have all the Blue Underground in 4K, but I decided to skip those. I think there's like two or three of them that got released. But now we have this one, so I had to pick it up. Don't know anything about this, but... Like I said, I try to collect all of these. All right, next here we have, all right, from Shout Select, number 147. Finally on 4K, we have Natural Born Killers. I haven't seen this in so long, but I absolutely love this movie. It's got a great cast. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. Cannot wait to revisit this on 4K. Check out all these awesome special features. We got an awesome slipcover on here, so kick ass. And the last one in here is the newest Scream Factory 4K Collector's Edition, My Bloody Valentine. Pretty awesome. Definitely one I was excited to get in the collection on 4K. So that'll do it for this package. Let's move on here. 
Another Amazon package. And we have the latest in the Insidious franchise, Insidious The Red Door. I have all these movies, so of course I had to pick this up. I haven't heard the greatest things about this one. I haven't seen the last one, which was called The Last Key. So I definitely have to get caught up on these movies, but wow. It's a nice slipcover, huh? What are your thoughts on the Insidious franchise? Are you a fan? I kind of like the first two. All right, next up we have a new film with Nicolas Cage from RLJE, Sympathy for the Devil. I like picking up these RLJE titles, as you guys know. This one looked kind of interesting. I had to pick it up. And the last one in here is, all right, first time to 4K, I still know what you did last summer. We got the first one, I believe, last year. So really happy they put the second film on 4K. I don't like it as much as the first one, but I do enjoy it. Definitely happy to have this for the collection. All right, and the last package here from Amazon. I think there's two more in here. All right, Death Wish 5, The Face of Death from Kino. Pretty cool. What are your guys' thoughts on the Death Wish films? You like them? Let me know down below. And then the last one in here. All right. I'll always know what you did last summer. First time to Blu-ray. Yeah, I guess it wasn't good enough to put on 4K. So I've owned this movie for a really long time. I got this DVD set back in the day that had all three films. Still have never seen the third one. I have heard nothing good about it. So I wasn't really in a rush to watch it. But... I wanted to pick up the Blu-ray just to have the full collection. I can get rid of my DVDs now. So pretty cool. Maybe next month in October, I'll watch one and two on 4K, and then I'll watch this one, see what it's all about. Okay, moving on to the package from BestBuy.com. This should be a still book. All right, we have... So this is one of those Best Buy slash Shout Factory exclusive still books. And that is Natural Born Killers. Let's go ahead and open this up. There's the front. There's the back. And there's it all opened up. We do have a bunch of discs in here. We have a Blu-ray director's cut. We have a Blu-ray theatrical cut. And then we have the 4K director's cut. And the inside. All right, now we're gonna move on to the two Disney Movie Club exclusive packages I have here. Go ahead and start with this one. And we have a new Disney Pixar film, Elemental. And again, I think this is one of those situations where the standard 4K is only available right now through the Disney Movie Club, but I believe there is an alternate 4K version at Walmart. But this looks like fun. I'm sure Jess and I will check this out with Dodger, see what he thinks. Always excited to add new Disney titles to the collection. And then the other package here, I'm really excited about. It is a still book. However, this wasn't exclusive through the Disney Movie Club. I believe Walmart has this. I think Best Buy does. Loki Season 1. So, a few weeks back, Disney mentioned some of their streaming shows are getting physical media releases. Of course, Loki. We're also getting WandaVision. We're getting Mandalorian season one and two. So hopefully they'll keep doing that. We only got still books for them. It would have been kind of nice to get slipcover editions as well. Maybe we will at some point. Pretty badass. I actually did watch Loki season one and I really liked it. Here's a look at the back. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, here's a better look at the front and the back. And this was 4K, by the way. There are Blu-ray ones as well. Here's it all opened up. We do get some postcards, I believe. Here is disc one and disc two and the inside. All right, we are going to end with the Shout Factory package. As I mentioned in the past, I only order directly through shoutfactory.com if it's something exclusive. And again, we have some more releases with some alternate slipcovers. So the release date for these is actually next Tuesday. But usually when you order through Shout Factory, you tend to get them a little early. But let's crack this open. All right, got her opened up. Let's take a look and see what we got. 
So first time to 4K, we have the collector's edition for Night of the Demons. I watched this film a couple years ago. I thought it was pretty cool. Here's the back. And now on Blu-ray, we have collector's editions for Night of the Demons 2 and Night of the Demons 3. Now, it's been a really long time since we've gotten any Blu-ray collector's editions. Why they didn't do 4K for these as well, I'm not sure, but I don't really care. I'm happy with the Blu-rays. Never seen any of the sequels. Not really sure how good they are. You guys let me know down below if you've seen them. But like I said, we did get some exclusive alternate slipcovers right here. So let me go ahead and crack this open. All right, so first off, we have a couple stickers here. You're invited to my party from Angela. They're both the same. Not really sure why I got two. All right, so for the slipcovers, all three of these were done by Joel Robinson. We have Night of the Demons. Pretty sweet looking. Night of the Demons 2. And Night of the Demons 3. Badass. And then, of course, we get... All six posters, which is cool. So, all right, I think that is everything. So can I fit them all in the frame here? <laughs> this week's stack, told you it was huge. Some awesome stuff. So excited to add to the collection. So that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of my pickups this week. What did you guys get this week? And if you would, share the video around. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.